What's up chess world and welcome back to another video in the Know Your Grandmaster series. Today we are celebrating the birthday of Indian stalwart Abhijit Kunte and let's know all about him today. Uh, Grandmaster Abhijit Kunte is from Maharashtra and turns 44 today and we'll be discussing all his life achievements uh, and uh, his achievements even off the board in today's series. So firstly wishing Abhijit Dada a very very happy birthday and let's check out his facts. Uh, Abhijit Kunte was born on 3rd March 1977 so he turns 44 today. Uh, he became an international master in 1997, which was quite young in those times as well at the age of um, 20. Uh, later on, he, in, in the same year, he also won the international championship in 97 and followed it up with, with a title victory in 2000. And mind you, he was last in 1999 and he went from last to first in a round robin event in 2000, which was quite a record back then. Uh, in 2000, uh, at the Commonwealth Championships in Sangli, he became India's fourth Grandmaster after Vishyanand and then uh, Dibendu Barua, Praveen Thipse and uh, finally Abhijit Kunde became India's fourth GM in the year 2000. Now we have 66 of them. So quite a story there. Uh, later on, Abhijit won the 2003 British Championships in Edinburgh and it was like even uh, in the previous year, uh, Ramesh had won the event so they had to stop Indians from playing in the British Championships so Abhijit Gunde was the last Indian ever to win the British Championships uh, in 2003. Uh, he was an integral part of the Indian team from 1998 to 2011 and he also played the Chess Olympiad that is the Chess Olympics for four uh, for four years uh, in 2002, 8, uh, 2004, 6 and 8 and uh, he did quite remarkably well. He has won seven medals and the Asian team championship events as well and again he was an important part of the member team member even there. In 2007 he became the Asian individual bronze medalist at the Cebu uh, event in Philippines and he just finished behind Zhang Peng Ziang of China who won gold. Uh, he has either won or sh has had share first in these open events that are very prestigious events throughout the world. Uh, that is in uh, Kolkata, then Blackpool in England, Kolkata in 2004, again the first Indian in being so, New Delhi in 2005, and also the Mumbai Open that is you as famously known as the Mayor's Cup in 2008. Uh, and also a little bit on his personal side you can al always see him sporting an Indian oil logo uh, around his chest and that is because he's working as a senior manager at the Indian oil corporation in Pune. So let's have a check in with some more Im personal facts about him and some off the board facts but are very very related to chess. He's widely known as Dada as even you know Saurav Ganguly is known as a Dada of cricket. So Abhijit Kunde is known as Dada and that is just a, like a term for elder brother in, in Marathi and also in Hindi but it has caught on. So I think most of the Indian chess players, grandmasters or amateurs are like call him Dada. Uh, he is a very famous coach and he has include he has coached like many many stars especially from Maharashtra and especially from Pune where he is based from. But uh, like some of his most famous protégés include Vidit Gujarati, Grandmaster Srinath as well has spent a considerable amount of time in Pune and of course many many more. And uh, checking in, he is the pioneer, he is the architect, he has the brainchild of the Maharashtra Chess League and he was instrumental in having that league for four years in a row and since uh, we hope that he can have an impact for the Indian Chess League as well that we have news coming up very soon. He has been an advocate and also a pioneer for the Chess in Schools program not just in Maharashtra but throughout uh, India as well and we definitely would be glad to see more kids and more people pick up chess from this. Uh, he has been a role model and an ambassador for the game in Maharashtra and I like personally even I can say that it has I have been looking up to him being from Mumbai and it's an absolute pleasure to even have a conversation with him about anything in life and uh, lastly 
and very importantly the indian chess league angle comes in here in february 2021 that is just last month he was appointed as the chairman of selection committee and the chief coach of the all india chess federation it's an amazing achievement and india will he look he played for the country at the olympics and now he's going to be the coach for the country for events going forward and he's also in the selection committee of the team and it's an absolute uh, honor to have him on the panel and it can just be amazing for indian chess and of course he is like well known uh, in the chess circles and as well as he supports other sports and he has a few organizations like laksha and kinder sports where he tries to pick up talents chess and other sports like and they give them that platform uh, that sports persons are looking for so once again a very very happy birthday from chess.com to abhijit dada and wish him the very best for his future advent endeavors and let's check in with a very very nice game of his and uh, i think it is easily one of his best games of his life and it was at such an integral moment or an important moment as india was taking on hungary and india was playing uh, uh, he is taking on the number 1 uh seed the number 2 uh, seed of hungary back then it was zoltan almashi and this is from the chess olympiad in istanbul in 2000 in the year 2000 so abhijit dada is now well known for playing uh catalan or d4 systems but back then he used to play 1 e4 uh, a simple roy lopez starts out but and now he can of course just play for a draw like this is a well known draw at the higher levels but almashi plays on and uh, things really get interesting around this moment because till now it's fairly known fairly uh, like well known waters but after rook eight, i really like this move because fisher was the one who helped us get this rook uh, lift along the uh, rank to attack against this king and after f5 it really feels uh, dodgy because you know black is going to black has to play here on the queen side and this is a move on white's playing side so let's see how abhijit dada punishes this so it is knight h2 the point being once this pawn is just lodged the knight can come in here the rook can come in and also it opens the line for the queen and it's really heartening to see you look at all of white's pieces are directed towards that side to the king side and against this king who is kind of in the open so knight h6 follows e takes f5 again dada making his intentions clear rook e1 queen e1 bishop d5 it seems as if um black has you know got something going he got the center pawn he has a good bishop but actually you see these three pieces and they are the ones why black loses in the end knight g4 comes pawn takes a4 dada doesn't really care and now he's you know just threatening stuff so almashi takes takes king h8 is important you know you want to get out of these uh, stuff and uh, also this checks along this lines for example knight e4 bishop a2 now this is already a blunder as you can see the bar rising on the left it's already lost and just take a moment and pause the video and try to find the move and bam bishop takes at 6 what a move by dada the point being you just can't take here because it's going to be hurt after this check and the king is just caught in the open and knight f6 coming in so almashi continues pawn to d5 trying to murky the waters but that's the point about being a, a grandmaster and an established player you don't allow your opponent to come back in the game keep hitting them queen c3 again a move just threatening checkmate defend again f6 defend defend the pawn almashi has you know bishop e2 was actually the last blunder and it's just too much to handle here and after d4 dada finds a cute little finish with takes takes and now he doesn't even take this he just plays queen to c5 the point being i am threatening this i am threatening this i am threatening rook h4 check queen h5 check numerous numerous threats and almashi in fact resigned and india got a good win in this match against hungary and let's uh, let's see a sample variation like bishop takes b1 loses to rook h4 checking g8 and i can even like take this here and it's gg's and uh, it was a very very nice finish and this is abhijit dada's one of his best games he's played many many of them but like we like to uh, pick this one and uh, once again it's it's been an amazing uh, journey following him and we wish him once again a very very happy birthday 
and the best of luck for his future endeavors.